what's up? It's your boy Paul. Welcome into the channel. And today I have the answer to my problem. My problems have been not enough storage on my computer. So I'm very excited. The answer is right over there. My new computer came in today. I am going to take a look at the box. We are going to get down and we are going to unbox the brand new Lenovo ThinkPad X13 with 5G that I purchased from AT&T. I'm excited to get this going with you guys. Let's have a look. All right, here it is. This is the baby here. This is the answer to my prayer. So we're going to go ahead and get started and take a look at what this baby looks like. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad is the X13, it's 5G, and I really like it because it's 5G, so that gives me this digital nomad vibe where I can just travel anywhere. Don't have to worry about Wi-Fi because it has that 5G connection through AT&T. So let's take a look at the box. All right, so this is your bubble wrap. We all know what that's, a, that's about. A little card from AT&T on how to get it activated. And then here it is, the box. We all know what the Lenovo box looks like. Very generic is what you would expect from them. It's not as fancy as the Microsoft or the Apple boxing, but it's Lenovo and it's just a box after all, right? We don't really care about that. Let's have a look in this. Seat. All right, here we go. So if you watch my other video, if you haven't watched the video, the link will be down below my entire work from home desk setup, you'll know that I have been using the Microsoft Surface Pro 6 for a couple of years now. I think I bought it in 2018 and my baby has served me well. It did me much justice, gave me a lot of good time, but you know what? It's time to upgrade. The storage just wasn't there as I'm doing more videos. I needed more storage and it was lacking on the connections. There wasn't many connections at all. So you, right away you can see here it is. This is a very, it's very light. It's lighter than I thought it was going to be. Nice light. Go ahead and cut this sticker here. All right. And let's take a look at this here. All right, so here it is. Here's the ThinkPad. They're a classic matte black. It's an all matte black, typical of Lenovo. And we open it up. It's a 13 inch screen. And here it is, your little cushion to protect the keyboard. I like the keyboards on the Lenovo, it's a nice space for your fingers. Never had a problem with any of theirs. I use a lot of their computers in the past. Okay, so this here, obviously in the box, let's see what's in the box. We have the power cord, pretty basic, simple power cord. Get rid of that, take these knots off. So yeah, I mean, Lenovo, the keyboard is pretty much the same and on most of their computers. I like it because of the fact that the, the keys are nice and big and I am a little, I can, I can be pretty clumsy with my typing sometimes. So I like the bigger keys. It helps me with my typing. Let's go ahead and try to get this baby plugged in and charged up so we can have it take a look with it. So in basic, not much in the box guys, this is it. You have the computer and you have your power cord. That is it, plain and simple. Ain't no questions about what, what you got going on here. All right, so go ahead. And this is a USB-C. Let's see where this baby plugs in at. You see, so it plugs in over here. That's your power cord. And let me go ahead and plug this in in the back. Okay, so the baby is plugged in. He is charging up. While this is charging up, let's just go over some of the specs and why I like this. My Surface Pro 6, it was a hundred and what was it, 120 um, gigabytes worth of memory. This has 512 gigabytes worth of memory. Your display size is 13.3 inches and your um, RAM is going to come at 16 gigabyte of RAM versus my <laughs> Weezy 8 gigs of RAM that I had on the Surface. And so right away, this is going to be a nice upgrade for me. And then once again, as I mentioned, this is 5G built in. Let's turn it on and let's see what we got. All right, so right away we have uh, we have a USB port here. We have your HDMI port. We have another USB port here. And then you have your um, USB-C there as well. And so this is gonna have one more USB port than I need it. And then you have your, your headphone jack here as well. So it, it has plenty of ports. It should give me quite enough coverage for me to plug in all of my gadgets and my contraptions, my keyboard. Here is the power. Let's turn it on and let's have a look and see. 
lower it down so you guys can see what it looks like. And as that, as that's powering up, let's just talk about some of the specifics here on the computer. So this has 512 gigs worth of memory, a 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it has the Intel Core i5. It says time to charge up to 100%. It's going to take up to 140 minutes. Battery capacity is 5.7, and your use time is 16.5 hours. So this has nice battery life on it. It says it comes installed with Windows 10 Pro. We're going to see whether we can update that to the 11 or not. It has a Microsoft Edge browser. It does have some extra extra features. So right away, you're going to show it is in English. We are in the United States. So let's go ahead and move on to the next steps. So just a moment as it loads up. Start with your region. It's the U.S. And it's a touchscreen. So let's see if the touchscreen works here. Yep. And no, I don't need an, an, another keyboard layout. I'm going to connect it to my network and you see it already comes connected to the AT&T light very nice so it's already ready to go comes plugged in now the retail price on this computer is $1,499 uh, AT&T also has a plan if you want to do it on installment it comes to about $40 a month uh, if you want to, to make payments on it so reasonably priced for what you get for 512 gigs and 16 gigabytes worth of ram we are going to go ahead and connect this to let's just try to see what it's like on the light network for now and we'll connect it up to the to the wi-fi later okay, so we have some important setup to do let's just take a look and see how fast this baby moves so as usual you know lenovo does have the nice hinge you can see where it, it's not a tablet so you can't flip it and get full use on it the other way, but it's you know your your basic laptop with a touch screen, um, and it does have a pretty significant bevel around the the edges. Um, so it's going to give me Microsoft 10 Windows. Accept that and move on. It's going to be for personal use next. All right, so basic setup, guys. This is going to be a pretty simple process. I am excited to get into it. I'm going to get everything set up, and then I'm going to have a video later on with my first impressions on how I use it and compare it, let you know my complete thoughts. So hopefully if you're looking to get yourself a computer that's reasonably priced, that gives you a lot of space and gives you the ability to be totally mobile, if you're looking to live that digital nomad life, then this may be the computer for you because it gives you the 5G and it also gives you your Wi-Fi. So I'm excited to, to dive into this, guys. If this is something that you enjoy, you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see the full video, make sure you thumbs up this video. That way I know to, to expedite the, that video and get that out to you as soon as I can. Make sure you stay tuned so when I, I release that, you will be notified. Again, this is your boy Paul, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X13 with 5G from AT&T, and I will see you on the review. Take care, guys.